Hello, welcome to my channel and welcome to my Happy Planner Goals Dashboard. This is Miranda, aka Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan. So we start off with all the tools that I'm using in order to create this Goals Dashboard. You'll notice to the right that's the Goals Worksheet that was available for download for free on the Me and My Big Ideas website under the subheading blog. And then to the left side, you see the other tools that I used. Um, I decided to use all three um, pages that were available, and I broke it down into personal, spiritual, and financial goals. Um, I feel like it, it, it would be really easy to write just three goals, but I feel I have a lot to do with my life. Okay, so I need to get my life, and I need to get my life in all three areas. Therefore, I decided to do mine this way. Um, this sheet was beneficial to me in the in the aspect that I was able to brainstorm some ways to hold myself accountable, um, detail my goals there, and then finally outline what I felt was most important to me. So I did that for each category. Then I wanted to find a way that I could keep it in front of me for the entire year. So I decided to um, use this uh, scrapbook paper and it's from the Blue Blooms Hot Buy Scrapbook Paper Pad from Michaels. And I used my Happy Planner Punch and punched the holes there. And then one of the pages, they had note cards. Look at this rose gold foil on that note card. It's popping. Um, I'm going to add is that pink piece there. I felt like that would be a great color combo and it would give, um, it would play nicely off of that dark navy blue background. So I put that there. And the more I look at this, the more I really like it. And then finally, um, those smaller cards, I will use the smaller cards to indicate one category of goal but I wanted to make sure that I was able to fit all the goals that I had on this one uh, page. Why Mandy sticker book that I made, I know that there was some rose gold stickers in this particular book. I'm looking for the one that actually has the bullet points. There they are right there. And how perfect are they to go with my plans? And I still have some of the round ones. Then I am just going to fit, flip through to see if I could see any others that I would like to use besides that one. And I locate um, the page that I want and I remove it. I located this sticker. You got this. Just a little encouragement. And I put that down because it's rose gold and matches the rest of this spread. Actually looks pretty doggone good if I do say so myself. So I grabbed that page that I took from my um, sticker book. And I began to stick the bullet points down. And of course, this is under my financial goals section. And I have my handy dandy Pilot Friction Erasable Pen in navy blue. Because as I mentioned before, I love to match my pen color with my spread. So my first financial goal I don't mind sharing is um, reduce credit card debt. That's the first one. It is a big one. So as I keep moving down, I'm going to grab another round rose gold bullet point and I'm going to put that down to notate my second financial goal, which is to establish an emergency fund. Everyone needs an emergency fund. That's for when the car breaks down, something goes wrong in the house. And as you guys know from being homeowners, you definitely could potentially have something that goes wrong and it's good to have that rainy day fund there for you. So um, that is definitely a goal for 2018 to increase that amount. And then I'm putting down my third and final financial goal and grabbing that bullet point again, putting that first. And then I'm getting ready to write and that third goal is to increase the amount in our savings account. So this is um, a separate goal because the funds are separate from our emergency funds. So we have um, begun doing this and we are attempting to jumpstart this particular goal. And if you're interested, just ask and I'll let you guys know um, what we're doing. So checking out the eraser here on this pen because of course I made a boo-boo. 
and it erases really well like it doesn't look bad the um, ink didn't smear and this is a gel ink pen that is able to erase so um, I don't know if you're interested in having this pen but I would definitely recommend it based on um, its performance okay just taking a look here and I am um, using some recollections stickers planner stickers and they are also in rose gold I grabbed the dollar sign there the rose gold dollar sign and I'm gonna place it on the left side of financial goals just to indicate via icon that this is a monetary goal that I have so I am going to put one there and I do believe I'm also going to place another one in the right hand corner and so I will pick um, that pink or blush color and uh, to keep it cohesive with the rest of this um, spread or maybe I put that on later oh nope I grab it now awesome so that is the final the financial goals column and I am really loving the way that this is turning out I'm looking at that you've got the sticker and it's crooked so I don't know if that's crooked or if actually my um, my little note cards I put down are crooked but it seems that once I straighten this um, sticker up then I feel like my spread is not as crooked as it was before so that was a definitely uh, that was a good move definitely okay so we are moving along um, to the next category and what I'm doing here is I'm consulting my goals worksheet so that I indicate my pre-planned goals on my video so now we're moving along to the personal section of my 2018 vision dashboard and um, that's down here on this little pink note card and I will begin by placing the little uh, triangle there um, I call it a carrot um, I just learned that in, in some type of a training I had at work and um, they indicated that it was called a carrot so um, <laughs> I've started to call it a carrot but it's really just a triangle so once again I'm going to use that same um, navy blue uh, pilot friction erasable pen and I'm going to indicate my first personal goal which is to lose 20 pounds if you notice with this goal I am not putting any months or dates on this but I do plan on tracking this in um, another one of my planners and I will have accountability goals and things like that and I will share that also in a later video and now to goal number two in the personal section I want to make sure that I'm journaling in my journal planner on a daily basis and something that I want to make sure that I add to that this year is to track how I'm feeling with my health, what struggles I'm having. As I mentioned in a previous video, I do have an autoimmune disease and I just want to see, you know, through the year, how many good days I have, um, how many bad days I have, and um, you know, what that looks like. And here I go again, I am erasing this wonderful pen. And as you can see again, not really a problem, I'm correcting the mistake that I made there. Um, so I'm excited to to see this and, and to do this. I have really um, become consistent at journaling in my horizontal happy planner. And um, I can also share that with you guys. I won't share what I'm journaling, but I will actually share my setup with that. So next I will go to my third and final personal goal, which is to create and maintain my YouTube um, videos and also to um, actively participate in any social media site. So right now that site is just going to be Instagram, but I hope to grow that to Facebook um, and to get a Facebook group going. Um, but that's just going to depend on how many followers and things on YouTube and Instagram that I get. But right now it's just YouTube and Instagram and staying and remaining consistent with those things and I will be tracking those and that is a personal goal for me so the only thing is that's missing is a header 
um, for this section. I did not label it personal, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to add that. Then I'll pop up here to the right hand column to start indicating my spiritual goals. And notice my spiritual goals, um, the column is not as large as my financial goals, but definitely it's up front and up top um, because I do feel like your spirituality should come first. So here with a heart icon from that rose gold um, sticker from um, Create365, I am going to indicate my first goal. Again, consulting the goal worksheet. So my first goal is to read one chapter from the Bible daily. So that really is my goal. And if even if I do not, um, I'm not able to do an entire chapter, I do challenge myself to at least read from the Bible daily. So I'm indicating that there. Then I go down and pick up my second bullet point, which is a heart. And um, this one I'm putting down um, because I do... Uh, I do believe in giving back um, to my relig religious organization, um, but I want to become regular in my contribution, and um, I want to set that up on a bi-weekly basis so that I really don't have to think about it. So I definitely want to give back and to contribute, and I want to become consistent at it. And the whole point of this goal sheet is to, it's all about consistency. So I will be tracking this particular goal in my budget planner all right I'm going to pop down to the bottom and I'm also going to continue spiritual goals there and um, I'm going to get another heart rose gold icon to indicate my um, third and final spiritual goal and that's going to be um, attending um, meetings or Bible studies on a regular basis um, and increase my personal ministry and that is um, something that I am going to hold myself accountable to and something that I want to work on for the year of 2018 and it's definitely um, important to me so um, I do believe that writing things down and holding yourself accountable increases your potential to fulfill or to um, obtain that particular goal. So I'm writing that here as one of my goals. I really like how this looks overall. And I do believe sometimes less is more. But as I'm looking at it, I, I'm thinking I need to add something else. Um, and I'm back to those recollections, roles, goal, planner stickers. And there are some, um, some little dots that I'm going to put here in this um, blank space. So, um, and they have rose gold on them, so how perfect. And they also have the blush. So I'm just gonna put them um, right here in between my financial goals and my personal goals in order to just give it a little more, um, a little more pop. I'm all about a pop. So this will definitely give it that pop that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna put down my final one over here on the right side. And I can't wait to see how this is going to look in my main planner. And just to give you a little sneak preview, it is going to be the sugar and spice plan. And then I finish it off with another rose gold uh, sticker on the, my spiritual goal, which is have an attitude of gratitude. And I think, you know, that's really um, important. And if I'm grateful and I have an attitude of gratitude, it will prompt me to do those goals that I set forth for myself. Thinking that I really like how this turned out and I'm all about less is more. And so we are all done with this 2018 vision dashboard. Remember a vision, it doesn't matter how big or small that vision is, it's your vision. And as long as you A, write things down, B, hold yourself accountable and keep it fresh in your mind, you can't accomplish any goal or vision that you set for yourself. 